Hey y'all, it's Kevin. It's Kevin Fish is here. We are doing a skipjack update from the bank again, I guess you would say, because I'm an idiot. It is sunny, mid 60s outside, and I left my fishing pole at the house this morning when I left for work. I usually always have a fishing pole in my truck, always. But this weekend I had the family in the truck, so I had to pull the fishing poles out and forgot to put the pole back in the truck. Anyway, we're gonna do this just on observation today. It is Tuesday the 26th, I believe is the date of March. I'm at Barkley Dam right now. Uh, flow is down compared to normal. Uh, we're at 18,000, when I say compared to normal, compared to what it's been lately. We're at 18,000 cubic feet flowing right now. There are no gates open at all. This 18,000 cubic feet is all through the generators. Water is down probably seven or eight feet from where it was just this weekend. So in the last two to three days, they've dropped it, dropped the bottom out of it. Uh, not that that, not that that is low. I mean, if you fish these dams, you know, water, when we get a lot of rain, the water can rise pretty quick around here. Uh, so seven, eight feet drop, whatever it is. It's just now getting back down to kind of what's normal here, where you can walk down all the way down to the, the concrete walkways and that kind of stuff. The walkways are out of water now. Um, there are not many people fishing today. There are four guys down here fishing right now. And all of them, I, I stood out there for about, I don't know, eight, 10 minutes maybe. Everybody's catching skipjack. They're not, I wouldn't say quite as catching as fast as it have been lately. Seems to be slowed down just a little bit, but I saw everybody catch fish. Uh, one guy had a triple. I saw two guys catch doubles and uh, several of them were just catching singles. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, they're still doing pretty good down here. This water drop may have slowed them down just a little bit, but it hasn't shut them down. You know, the temperature's right, the water temp's right, everything's right, they should be running good, and and uh, these guys are catching them. Uh, it was pretty hot there for a week or so, pretty dang hot. So, you know, what they're catching now, it, it may look like a slowdown to me as I've been down here a lot, uh, but it's not bad. The wife and I were here this weekend, Saturday, I think it was, and my days run together. Um, I've got a video on that, but it's, I recorded a lot of footage while we were down here. It's going to take some time to edit and I just haven't had the time. Honestly, I've been spending too much time fishing. So, uh, I'll get that one out here shortly. Uh, but when we were down here this weekend, I was using the same jigs I always use and they were hitting pretty good, but not great. My wife was fishing with a sabiki rig with those you know, teeny tiny little sabiki rigs. And she was catching two to one the fish I was catching. They loved that sabiki rig this weekend. I don't know what it was, but man, she was wearing them out on that. So if you're coming down here, you might want to stop at the bait store and pick you up a sabiki rig if you don't have one already. Uh, that really seemed to be the trick for her this weekend. I was still catching them. I wasn't catching them slow enough to, you know, to complain about it. But like I say, she was catching two to one what I was catching. All right, guys, I've got a, a little bit of quick footage for you here just for the guys that like to see what the water looks like. All right, guys, here's what the water looks like. Well, as you can see, guy down there, if you, if you can see it in this video, it's got a triple. Really windy here, so I'm gonna jump inside the truck. We'll finish this up inside. And I'm gonna head over to Kentucky Dam, see if I can't get somebody to talk to me over there, or maybe some guys to watch, and see if I can get you an update for Kentucky Dam. I heard Kentucky Dam was slower this weekend, much slower. I heard it was elbow to elbow with people, but much slower on the fishing. So uh, let me see if I can get you an update there. Uh, hang with us, I'll be there in just a second. All right, y'all, this is the view of Kentucky Dam today. Let me tell you, it is coming a crazy wind out here. That was easily 20, 25 miles per hour, if y'all can hear it. I don't know if you can even hear me over this phone. I'm gonna jump back in the truck and get y'all an update. Holy cow, what a wind have we got going on down here at Kentucky Dam. I tell you, I'm just like, what, a mile and a half, two miles up the road from Barkley, and it's a world of difference. Barkley had a lot of wind. Kentucky Dam, it's ridiculous. It, it was hard to stand still without leaning into the wind out here. 
There are 11 guys down here fishing right now. Crazy, I guess. I don't know. They, they must really want their skipjack right now because it is ridiculous. I, I'm watching some of these guys cast, and I, I don't know how they're controlling where their stuff's going, but they're down there doing it. Maybe the wind's not as bad right down on the water as it is up here on top. I'm sure it's not. Anyway, to get you an update here, no gates open at Kentucky Dam right now. Uh, several generators. It, the app said three to four. It looks like there's four running. Uh, according to the app, they're flowing here at about 58,000 cubic feet, which is uh, still really good flow for Kentucky Dam. It's uh, a manageable flow. Uh, it's actually a little better than what it has been recently. Uh, sit out there, I don't know, seven, eight, nine minutes watching these guys fishing. Nobody came up the steps for me to talk to. I saw several people catch fish, but it still it still looks slower than over at Barkley. Um, I saw one guy catch a double. I saw several guys catch singles while I was out there. I did not see everybody catch a fish while I was out there. So uh, the ones up closer to the dam didn't seem to be doing as well. The ones uh, downstream from that big concrete circle seemed to be doing a little bit better. They didn't seem to be setting the world on fire. Uh, if I was fishing, I'd be over at Barkley. Uh, just just from my observation from the bank. They seem to be hitting a lot better over there than here. Uh, you're going to catch some down here at Kentucky if this is where you like to fish. But they did seem slower. Uh, it's bright sunny today. It's, you know, There's a few clouds out. Some people like to catch them when it's cloudy. Some people want it sunny. Personally, I like that. I like it to be a little cloudy. I don't know. Some people say they catch them better when it's sunny. I guess it just all depends on whether they're running when you're down here. Temperature wise, it's nice. It's mid 60s out here, so it's a good day to fish. Good day to fly a kite if you're down here at Kentucky Dam. All right, y'all. With that, I'm gonna jump off here. I appreciate y'all uh, checking in, and I just realized that wind's got my hair. I'm standing up looking like alfalfa here. Um, appreciate y'all checking out the video. Be sure to let your buddies know. I, I ran into several people this weekend down at uh, Star State, Kentucky at uh, Barkley Dam uh, that watched the videos that had traveled five and six hours to get down here. And uh, we're doing really good. They, they were loading up. So uh, glad to see you guys down there this weekend. All right. I appreciate y'all. Take it easy and have a good week.